It all serves to very strongly suggest that there are weaknesses in Parliament Hill security. Susan Ormiston has more on that. He had deadly intent, cold-blooded resolve, but it was insufficient security that allowed him to run right in the front door of Parliament. The attack started behind the war memorial. Corporal Cirillo shot in the back. From here, the shooter ran to a car, sped up the street. Once on the hill, as that dramatic video shows, he commandeered a ministerial car and drove to the front door. 23 seconds between the time the suspect parked the beige car and then entered the center block. The shooter was able to charge right through these doors, brandishing his gun. A guard inside, unarmed, pulled the gun down, got shot in the foot, yelled, gun, gun, alerting others. The shooter went on. This is where experts suggest security did not meet the level of threat. We've got uh, what some folks call the single point of defense, which in the military we used to refer to as a single point of failure. No double-layered defense putting physical space between a visitor and entry. So there should be at least a standoff distance of 10, 20, 30 feet, where the person first approaches the main entryway, they're brought into a funneled area, they're contained, and then they can be addressed. Then they're allowed to go through the detector. Today, the House of Commons guards packed guns. That could be one enduring change. The Minister of Justice acknowledged potential others. We're not talking about uh, closing off the hill. We're, we're talking about ways in which we can ensure greater security and greater cooperation, which I Should think is one of the guards? most important things that we have Should to do first. The problem is balance between an open, inviting parliament and menacing threat. We can't allow that openness and freedom to be rolled back either. We have to continue to defend both. In the past, MPs have resisted more robust security, but barricaded behind doors yesterday, they may react differently now. Another fault line, four separate security details, Ottawa Police, RCMP, House of Commons, and Senate Security. You need a single commander, you need a single integrated force, uh, unify, unity of command, unity of effort. No amount of scrubbing can rub out yesterday's horror. With bullet holes inside the Hall of Honour, government can't afford not to make changes on Parliament Hill. Peter, I spoke to a guard inside today who told me he shuddered to think what could have happened. Were this to have occurred, for example, last Friday, when hundreds of students were crowded into that rotunda near the door, underscoring the need for a critical security review. All right, thanks, Susan. Susan Ormiston here in Ottawa.